this is New Amsterdam Photo Video, and in this video, I'd like to talk about my DIY motorized slider project. I've always wanted a slider, but I got quickly fed up with the inconsistency of my movements while shooting, so I decided to add a motor to my slider for consistent smooth movements. Using only a few parts from the hardware store and a bunch of leftover pieces of a telescope, I was able to upgrade this slider I purchased off of Amazon. While this isn't the best solution for everyone looking to make their own motorized slider, I thought I'd share what I pieced together and follow this video up with future changes to my slider. The motorized slider works pretty simply. On the one end is the motor, with a pulley on the other end. I use a rope attached to the sliding plate to pull the camera back and forth. It's important to have a lot of tension on the rope so it works effectively. I have the rope going around the bolt coming from the motor, and this works pretty well to pull the rope back and forth. The pulley is bolted on with some spare parts that I had laying around, but it holds pretty tight. The rope is wrapped around the tightening screw to keep the sliding plate in place. Now all of these modifications aren't permanent, but they do work for now. The housing for the motor is held onto the slider with tape, which is obviously a very elegant solution for attaching one thing to another thing. The motor has a computer control, which is connected to a remote. This was all originally designed to be used with a motorized telescope for tracking stars in the night sky, but I've used these parts for all kinds of projects. I used to use the motor and remote for turning a tripod head for time lapses, and it worked very well. I was able to use it for both panning and tilting, which makes the shot more dynamic. Applying it to the slider was pretty simple, though the motor is very bulky. While the tape is a good temporary measure, I do intend on making more permanent modifications in the future. What I like the most about this telescope motor is the adjustable speeds. The remote has four different speed settings, so the slider can be used in a very quick motion or very slowly, like for time lapses. The biggest drawback for doing the slower speeds is having to hold down the button on the remote for long periods of time. My workaround is to use this clamp and this tightens down so it holds the button for longer sweeping motions. My original intent with this slider was to be used for macro shots. Now, using a motor makes a very big difference, since any jerking motion in the slider is very noticeable in a macro shot. Here's a test shot I did using the slider at the highest speed with a macro lens. For a macro shot, the highest speed is a bit too fast and the motion seems rushed. There is some jerkiness to the slider when it starts and stops a shot, so you'll need some buffer rooms on both ends. This jerkiness can also be increased depending on the weight of your setup. These test shots were made with a DSLR camera with a macro lens on a camera mount and a follow focus. Despite the extra weight, it's completely smooth through the shot. I found the second highest speed to be the best setting for macro shots. The movement is smooth, but not too slow so it makes a good reveal on a product, or it can be used to move in while doing a rack focus. This has been my most used speed with this motorized slider, and I find it suits all of my work well. I also tested using the second slowest speed, but this speed is just too slow. This is better suited for a time lapse or a really slow push in if that's what you want, but for the most part, I don't like using this mode much. The hardest part of doing something this slow with this particular setup is having the remote slip and releasing the button. This causes the shot to stop and that can ruin the entire shot, so it's pretty cumbersome for longer shots. I set up an example shot using the second fastest speed. This movement goes from end to end of the slider and the shot is completely smooth all the way through, with no jerking or camera wobble. I used a 100mm macro lens on this shot to get very close detail and the motor works perfectly. My favorite thing about this setup is how easy it is to change back to the top speed and reset a shot. My first attempt at motorizing this slider only allowed it to move in one direction and it had to be manually reset each time. While the entire thing is held together with tape and spare parts, I'm very happy with the final result. This creates very professional dolly movements on a macro scale that are easy to repeat over and over. This is just my first attempt at motorizing my slider and I'm currently working on updating it with a more intricate setup using motors and an Arduino computer control. My goal with this project is to have a setup that can do both dolly movements as well as raising the camera up and down with the slider turned completely on its side. I hope this video helps you in your endeavors to motorize your own slider and you can check out my website for the gear that's used in this video.
This is New Amsterdam Photo Video, and if you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe.